So hello guys, my name is Rishabh Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Milani. And this video is about why Bits at two times is good or bad. Okay guys, so Bits at from this year will be conducted two times as JE is conducted and the best of both of the scores will be considered. I hope you will be giving both of the exams and you have registered for both of them because uh, if you don't register, you will get another option to register for the second exam also, but you will have to pay more fees, more fees as in application fee. So yeah, one of the things why I think it's really good is that BITSAT will be considered two times is that most of the exams when we give for the first time, there is a lot of, you know, uh, we lose confidence and sometimes we are not able to give our best in the examination hall and because of this sometimes we think that uh, a second option is great because maybe the first time you falter but the second time you will be able to soak the pressure and you will be able to you'll be able to give a good examination but uh, this is the good thing another thing which i feel because what happens because of this two exams is that already there is one exam and there are like you know 10 to 15 shifts and because of that they will they will have to make 10 to 15 question papers and now they'll have to make 30 question papers and they and they don't really only shuffle the questions they also there are different questions in different sets and this happens in je also this happens in uh, you know bitsat also bitsat does not provide its previous year questions but je provides and you can easily look into that because of that there are a lot of variations in the question paper and uh, questions come from various chapters sometimes one paper is heavily based on some chapter and that is why it is very important because of these uh, you know two times conduction of uh, bitsat or j j main i mean uh, you have to cover all the chapters this is the thing you have to cover most of the chapters even if it is even if that chapter is your weak you would you have to cover that so the thing is that the chapters that are weak of yours that you have to cover like uh, you should just look into the formulas and ncrt bare minimum and uh, uh, the chapters which you have medium control on then you should have at least solved the pyqs of j main for that and the chapters which you have complete control on you should know everything about that so this is the way you should go into examinations like j main or bitsat or any examination and in the in my previous video i told how i scored 300 plus as well as i told my uh, examination strategy that what i used to follow so i would uh, certainly tell you to look upon that and also i've made a lot of videos previous year also like how i scored uh, sorry what was my bitsat exam day story and all of that all of that are in a playlist called bitsat which i will also be giving the link uh, in the you know description as well as comment pinned comment so i'll say that you look upon it don't look on all the videos only the videos which concern you yeah another good thing about this time's bitsat and je main is that uh, what i feel is that uh, first je main will be there and then there will be bitsat and again there will be je main and again there will be bitsat so you have like 10 days between je main and bitsat and the benefit of that is that you will uh, once you'll prepare for J main, you are kind of already prepared for Bitsat. And then again, when you are prepared for Bitsat, then you are prepared for the next J main. So this is a really good thing about this year's schedule, which I feel. So yeah, this was a really short video. I just wanted to tell you that what I feel about Bitsat conducting its exams two times. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you like the video and subscribe the channel for more videos related to Bitsat or J. Thank you for watching.